just asked my 11-year-old son what he thought of the game, and he said, I thought it was a good win, Dad. I thought you played okay, but I don't know if you played a full 60 minutes, and I think he was right on the money. Uh, you know, it was a good, hard-earned two points for us tonight. I thought in the third period, we, uh, you know, we played back on our heels a little bit as opposed to playing on our toes, uh, and Vermont was bringing it, but Adam was strong in net, and we were resilient. We didn't give him any second chance opportunities. We were able to clear the front of the net, but I was uh, overall uh, pretty happy with the effort. That, that's a hard-nosed, tough team right there, and uh, we had a pretty good uh, group effort tonight to secure two points. Okay, questions. You happy with how you guys started tonight? Coming out, you know, obviously Tuesday didn't work out for you, but you played 58 minutes strong towards the end, and then you carried it right over into the start tonight. Yeah, it's funny. You know, a lot of people said to me that two minutes cost us that game the other night, and that's not the case. Because uh, I think in this league, no matter who you play, if you play 58 minutes of great hockey, uh, you're going to win most games. Uh, that didn't cost us a game. It was a goaltender. So to answer your question, uh, I was. I was happy with the way we came out. Uh, I thought we had a really good first period. Uh, had some good chances. I think outshot them 11-7 uh, in that period and uh, set the tone. But I was I was happier when we got that first goal. Carl, was the team really frustrated after the Boston College game, and how did how did the team deal with the disappointment of that game? Well, yeah, we were, we were mad after the game. At the, we thought we played a really good game, 58 minutes, like we said, but that's not enough, especially against BC. But uh, one thing we said after the game is tomorrow when we went to practice, the next day when we went to practice, we had to forget it. We had to be ready, mentally tough, and just get ready for Vermont. They're, they were a tough team, and we came ready. For that reason, I would think this has got to be like one of the biggest wins of the year. I mean, there's, there's been a lot of important wins, but it could have gone either way today. Yeah, it was big because, you know, we played pretty well, uh, I thought, there last Friday. I mean, in spurts, we played pretty well and didn't get a win. And we played really well at BC and didn't get a win. So I was able to stop the bleeding here a little bit and, and get two big points for us. And, you know, they had had our number here for a while. So it was nice to put an end to that. What about the crowd? Unbelievable. I'm glad you brought that up. That, that's uh, probably... Probably the best crowd I've seen since the opening night when we played BC. It was there was people up on the upper decks. They were loud. The student section was fantastic. Uh, I'm hoping we get that again, you know, Saturday because that's certainly I know uh, I can't speak for Carl, but it certainly energized me, and I think it energized our players. Could you talk a little bit about uh, the physicality in the third period? It seemed to really come to a head in the middle there. Yeah, it, it got. I think that's what you're going to see going down the stretch here. You know, Merrimack's a very tough team. Providence is a tough team. Northeastern's playing really well right now. New Hampshire's played well. I think as you get going down the stretch in the last month here with eight, eight games left, uh, you're going to see a lot of physical play because people are jockeying for, you know, playoff positions and home ice, and the games get a little bit tougher. Coach, the PK in the third period did a really good job. You had to kill with that four on three and then a five on four. That wasn't easy in your best uh, penalty kill with your goaltender tonight. He was. You know, I thought we did a great job of uh, controlling the tempo during that. We didn't get stuck out there in that four on three or the five on three for like a minute or a minute and a half with the same guys. We were able to get uh, clears. We were able to get Adam did a really good job of, you know, holding on to pucks, not giving up rebounds and stopping it. So we were able to get fresh guys out there for the whole minute and a half. But uh, certainly we were resilient during that time. And there wasn't a lot of panic on the bench, and we found a way to, to kill it. Could you talk about how uh, you, you guys didn't let it snowball when Vermont scored that, uh, third goal, that first goal? Yeah, well, there was about two and a half minutes left, and, and I think we had uh, a couple of good shifts. I, I think you know the key was when Spencer beat that icing. I thought when Spencer beat the icing, uh, we were able to – that pretty much would solidify the game. But, yeah, it was good holding them off there. I would say it was a good team win, uh, but the uh, Vermont coach said Adam was your MVP tonight. Would you agree with him? Yeah, he's part of your team, though. You know, I mean, the goalie's <laughs> part of your team. So, yeah, he played very, very well. Uh, I thought he uh, was excellent. Uh, 
And, and I, like I said, though, I thought we did a really good job of eliminating second chance opportunities because he's when he's uh, locked in and he's on his game, uh, he's pretty good at stopping that first one. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Aramac beat uh, Boston University again tonight. Again? All right. Well, there you go. That's our next opponent. <laughs> so. uh, could you talk a little bit about uh, David Drake making that stick save right at the end of the second period? One one game after 40 minutes is very, very different than a one nothing game after 40 minutes. Yeah, it was a great play. He was, you know, that's why you always hustle back to the net. And he did that. And he was right there. And he was able to keep the puck in underneath Adam and out of our net. So it was... Uh, Definitely a great hustle play. Do you, do you feel as though that played a factor? Yeah, I, I, it was great. But like you said, it's, it's much better going into the you know game third period one nothing than one one. So uh, yeah, but Adam also made a breakaway save too before that. So that was a big save as well. Carl, you have to say you've had a little time off, and certainly uh, you wanted to make up for it. You've gotten the uh, first two goals in the last two games, so obviously you've been making a difference for for your team. Yeah, well, a month off is nice, uh, but I came ready. Uh, coach told me you got to be ready physically to come back, and I think uh, with Mo and with our staff back at UConn, I think they made me ready in the, in the gym and on the ice. The coaches helped me get my cardio back, and I was excited to come back. <laughs> okay. All right, great. Thank you. Tough game, your last game out. Were you thinking about that at all and wanting uh, even more so than usual to make sure you had a strong game tonight? Yeah, I was uh, trying to prepare the best how I can and uh, I just uh, tried to be positive from the last games and really prepare for this game. How important you know, to represent your country in the World Juniors was great. When you're playing at that level, were there things that you were able to take from some of the guys you played with or against? to help you in, in your development? Sure, uh, I mean, uh, it was a great experience for me. The hockey was a little bit different, a little bit faster. So, I mean, uh, it was a really good experience and I can use this experience for nice games. Adam, the first period you made that paddle save, you were able to dive back on that. Can you tell us a little bit about how you made that play? Uh, I mean, uh, it was like a rebound and only what uh, could I use was my stick, so I went with my stick to this puck and uh, I blocked the shot. David helped you out one time when the puck kind of squeezed through your pads, you turned around, but Drake was right there. I thought the defenseman, the few rebounds you left, your defenseman did a great job of clearing the puck. Yeah, I have to say they uh, really cleaned the pucks uh, from me, mm -hmm. so that was, uh, that was important. Okay to this win. Yeah. Your, your rebound control, which I think has been very good all year, but it seems like you even get better and better. You leave very few rebounds. How difficult and, and is that to do and how, how much do you work on that? I mean, I'm trying to uh, work on that every, every practice, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's, uh, it's more about like mental. If I really like focus on this bike, I can rebound this bike where I want to. So it's about like uh, how I feel. Mm -hmm. What has coach been stressing about in practice going into like each and every game so far this season? What do you mean? For instance, here in this part of the season, you know, what's coach saying that you guys need to do, you know, game in and game out? Uh, he to just uh, tells us like play the best how we can and uh, try, try win every game. We'll, we'll be playing. And the penalty kill has been probably the most consistent part uh, of your game, the team's game, all year long. You guys were, were uh, outstanding tonight with a two-goal lead, five-on-three, four-on-three. You did a great job in front of you tonight. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we, we practiced all week, uh, just uh, kind of uh, just penalty kills. So we, we know what we have to do and uh, where the guys have to stay. Mm -hmm.